The evolution of Brazilian air power is often described through the lenses of fighters, avionics, and air defense doctrine. But this perspective misses a central element of the transformation underway. The Embraer KC-390 Millennium is not merely a transport aircraft, nor simply an affordable alternative to the American Hercules. It is a platform that quietly redefines Brazil's ability to sustain operations, extend combat reach, provide humanitarian relief, and export aerospace capability. The KC-390 signals a shift in Brazilian strategic thinking. Instead of building purely defensive assets, Brazil is building infrastructure for regional force projection and operational endurance. The KC-390 brings together several advantages that are rarely combined in one platform. Its 26-ton payload enables it to carry troops, armored vehicles, humanitarian supplies, or specialized mission equipment with a degree of flexibility that is foundational for a multi-mission aircraft. Its cruise speed of 870 km per hour makes it significantly faster than the older C-130 design, which is often associated with slower, more lumbering flight profiles. The Millennium is a machine that is optimized for time-sensitive, high-tempo logistics, whether that means positioning rapid reaction forces along border regions or delivering emergency resources during natural disasters. One of the turning points in the KC-390 narrative occurred with its recent certification to refuel the Brazilian Air Force's F-39E Gripen fighters. Air-to-air -air refueling is more than a technical capability. It is a doctrinal milestone. A fighter that can refuel in flight is transformed from a platform limited to standard mission radius into one capable of enduring air presence and extended operations. With KC-390 acting as a flying fuel node, Gripens can patrol greater segments of Brazil's airspace, maintain combat readiness for longer durations, and participate in regional security missions without requiring nearby ground bases. The ability to refuel from a domestically produced tanker reinforces a sovereign operational cycle, reducing dependency on foreign aircraft or infrastructure. Brazil's internal geography also magnifies the value of the KC-390. The country's continental scale demands a logistical aircraft that can cover vast distances while maintaining reliability in tropical, maritime, and high-temperature environments. The KC-390 was built with this challenge in mind. Its landing gear and airframe were designed for semi-prepared runways and austere conditions, ideal for operating along the Amazon basin, remote border outposts, or expeditionary landing zones. This balance of performance and ruggedness positions the Millennium not only as a transporter, but as a national asset for resilience and emergency response. In the Brazilian military doctrine, the KC-390 serves as a bridge between defensive sovereignty and strategic mobility. The Brazilian Air Force does not aspire to project long-range power globally. Rather, it seeks to assert control within South America, maintain deterrence, and guarantee autonomy in regional crises. The Millennium embodies this intent. It allows the Air Force to mobilize battalions, medical units, or surveillance systems with operational agility. It strengthens the concept that modern air power is as much about sustaining operations as executing them. Without reliable logistics, the most advanced fighter becomes a grounded symbol of potential rather than a functioning asset. The strategic importance of the KC-390 is inseparable from the industrial narrative of Embraer. Brazil has developed one of the world's leading aerospace manufacturers, and the KC-390, 
is a demonstration of mature engineering capability. Unlike many global defense programs where countries purchase foreign technology with minimal domestic integration, Brazil has built KC-390 as a largely national product. This is a different model of military modernization, capability plus industrial sovereignty. Every aircraft produced enhances the domestic aerospace workforce, nurtures supply chains, and strengthens Brazil's position not as an importer of air power, but as an exporter. This industrial footprint extends beyond Brazil's borders. Several European NATO members have committed to the KC-390, including Portugal and Hungary. Others are seriously evaluating procurement. The significance of this is geopolitical. European countries are choosing a Brazilian solution over established American models. This implies confidence in Embraer's reliability, trust in Brazilian engineering, and recognition of cost-effective capability. It also marks Brazil's entrance into the circle of nations capable of competing in high-value defense export markets. Comparisons with the C-130 Hercules are inevitable. The Hercules has served for decades and remains a proven military lifeline in many countries. However, it is a legacy design from a different era. The KC-390, by contrast, is a 21st century product built with modern avionics, fly-by-wire controls, and an inherently multi-role architecture. While the Hercules offers a broader existing support infrastructure globally, the Millennium is gradually building its own ecosystem with each new operator. Over time, this trend may transition from a single platform choice into a shift in how nations conceptualize their transport fleets. Brazil's domestic procurement has faced constraints, including the reduction of total orders to 18 aircraft. This stems from financial prioritization rather than capability doubts. Economic cycles influence long-term acquisition timelines, but they do not diminish the strategic need. In fact, as Brazil's fighter fleet modernizes and its command and control systems mature, the requirement for reliable air logistics will only increase. If the F-39 Gripen is the airborne spear point, KC-390 is the arm that thrusts it forward and sustains it in the field. Looking ahead to the year 2035, the KC-390 is likely to become the defining symbol of Brazilian operational readiness. Its role will expand beyond transport and refueling into deeper integration with joint military planning, humanitarian missions, and international cooperation. A future Brazilian Air Force built around Gripen fighters, E-99 airborne early warning aircraft, and KC-390 support craft will form a triad of modern air capability, sensing, striking, sustaining. In such a structure, the KC-390 becomes the indispensable third pillar. Ultimately, the KC-390 is not simply an aircraft. It is the embodiment of Brazil's strategic ambition to guarantee national defense, project stabilizing influence within South America, and define itself as a respected aerospace nation. Its significance lies not only in what it does for Brazil today, but in what it enables for Brazil tomorrow.